Good morning Cancerian family, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with a bonus love reading for your sign. If this reading resonates Cancer, there will be an extended part to this reading where you can follow on. You will find that link in the show more section below. This video can be good for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Cancerian placements. And to the cross watchers checking in on a Cancerian in your life, feel free to take the messages as they best resonate for you. Roles can be reversed, everybody. If you're looking for something more specific, then a personal reading is where it's at. And all the details on how to work with me and connect with me will be in the show more section below. We're going to open up the reading by taking a look at your person's current energy. We're going to take a look at your energy also. We will clarify cards if need be, Cancer. I'm just going to give the cards a bit of a shuffle as I'm online. I have pre-shuffled the cards, but I like to do it on camera as well. Okay, so as I'm shuffling the cards, Cancer, I just want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you who continue to show up here on the channel, supporting me in the way that you do, you know, in any way, which way you do. The likes, the shares, the subscribes, the super thanks, the emails, the requests for personal readings, the check-ins, the, all of it. Thank you. And this is my way. This bonus reading is my way of giving back to the Cancerian community here on the channel. So thank you. If you are new to my channel, Cancer, welcome. Um, I'm so glad that you have clicked on this video. And I really do hope that this reading offers you some insight and some clarity around your current situation. So let's begin. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the current energy of the person that Cancer is thinking of when they are coming into this video. When they are clicking on this video, please show us the current energy of the person that Cancer is thinking of, dealing with and connecting to. All right, first card came flying out. We've got the hanged man here. Okay, so in their current energy, Cancer, this person could be very quiet with you. I don't feel like there's a lot happening uh, when it comes to this person. I don't feel like they're doing a whole lot. I feel like they're actually um, quiet with you here. Look at this. We've got the Five of Swords. Clearly here there's been some kind of a divide or a separation uh, between the both of you. This person feels or may feel like you have cut the cord. Okay, they may feel here that you have detached your energy from them. Mm. All right. Let's see what else is going on in this person's current energy for Cancer. Six of Wands. Okay, in the current energy, Cancer, if this person is quiet with you, and if they're feeling like you've cut the cords, right? The Six of Wands can speak to where someone is getting like attention from other different people. So it could be very well that this person right now is receiving attention from other people. So if they're quiet with you, you can bet that they're probably getting attention elsewhere. But let's clarify that, shall we? Um, Let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles here. So yeah, they could be juggling multiple people right now. I do feel in the current energy that this person has been behaving very wishy-washy with you. Okay, they've been very wishy-washy with you. Um, with the Daughter of Swords, I would say that this person is um, observing you and watching you, perhaps from afar. Now, if you're not on the socials, then that's okay. It would just mean that this person is heavily thinking about you, especially with the Hanged Man here. Because the Hanged Man energy is when someone is in their head, okay? Hmm. All right, let's clarify these cards, Spirit. Let's find out more of what's going on here. We'll just give these cards a bit of a shuffle.
I don't feel like if this person is quiet with you, Cancer, like I always see the Two of Pentacles as mutable energy. So it could go either way. Like right now with the hanged man here, they could be quiet with you. They may not be talking to you. They're not taking any action. But the Two of Pentacles tells me here that that could change any time. Okay, it really just depends on the environment. It depends on the circumstances uh, surrounding the situation. Okay, so this person may may come out of this hanged man energy. But let's just clarify why the hanged man is here. Spirit, tell us more about the hanged man. We've got the three of cups. Yeah. Yeah, this clarifies a lot, Cancer. Like I said, if this person is quiet with you, I do feel with the three of cups that this person is entertaining other options right now. Okay. Now, you know, the hanged man energy is also an energy where someone is in their thinking mind and they could be thinking about reconciling or reconnecting or connecting with you here. The Three of Cups is like a, a let's catch up card. Okay, let's catch up, let's hang out. Are you free to catch up? They are thinking about some kind of a reunion here. Thinking about having a reunion here with you. Now, this person may have seen you as with a hanged man here, okay, because this is their perspective. They could be viewing you as a friends with benefits situation also. And how I'm looking at it, they're viewing you as a friend, the three of cups. So for some of you Cancerians, you may feel like this person has kind of put you in that friend zone category. Or maybe they feel like you've put them in the friend zone, okay? Maybe they feel like you have totally friend zoned them. Okay, well, that's interesting. Mm, what's at the bottom? The death card. Major Arcana for Scorpio. It is in the reverse though. So this would tell me, Cancer, that you've got someone here that is quiet with you, possibly not talking to you. Uh, maybe they're not taking any action right now, but I don't feel like it's completely over with the death card in reverse. I, don't, I feel like there's unfinished business here. I don't feel like... I just want to say, I don't feel like it's over between you and this person. So again, I feel that with the Two of Pentacles here, right now, they're not talking to you, but you know, the, the wheel can shift. Okay, this is like a cyclical by nature. Right now, this pentacle is saying they're not talking to you, but at any given moment with the other pentacle here, they could definitely come out of this... Um, quiet space that they're in and the reason why i say that is because the death card is in reverse mm. all right let's clarify this uh five of swords what's his five of swords energy the king of swords in reverse could be dealing with an air sign here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this person is viewing you as someone who isn't talking to them either. Okay, there's clearly no communication between you and this person. And if there is, it's very little communication. And if there is, maybe I'm seeing these two cards as possible arguments, conflict, fighting, okay, not seeing eye to eye on a situation or a topic. Um, if this person is looking at you thinking, oh, cancer's cut the cord, okay, they're not sure here. There's a lack of clarity around maybe why you've detached or why you've cut the cord or why you've stopped talking to them. Okay, they're feeling rather confused. 
there's a lack of clarity surrounding the situation. And I say a lack of clarity because the hanged man is all about gaining better clarity. It's about looking at something differently to get a different perspective or to get a better perspective on the situation. So I do feel that this person is trying to understand the current situation. They're trying to understand maybe why here with the King of Swords, you're not entertaining them and talking to them. Mm. Let's clarify this Six of Wands in their current energy. All right, tell us more. Six of Wands. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's the Two of Pentacles. So yeah, again, it's just clarifying that my intuition is on point with this message, Cancer. So take it as it resonates. I do feel, again, not to sound like a broken record, but if this person is quiet with you, it's because they are entertaining themselves uh, with other suitors or other options that are available to them right now because these other suitors are giving this person the attention that you're not giving them cancer, okay? Hmm. However, um, give me a moment, Cancer. I like to just check in with my intuition here, see what my intuition is saying. You know, what's really, really interesting though, what I'm getting from these two cards is even though they're getting the attention from other people, they're getting validated from other people. They're probably getting their ego stroked from others at this time. What they really, really, really want is your attention. That's what they really, really, really want here. They want your attention. Hmm. They want your attention. Isn't that interesting? Like they've got all this attention coming in from others, but they want your attention here. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at how this person currently feels towards you then, Cancer. Let's, let's take a look. Oh, no, you know what? what? Why does this person want your attention? Let's, let's ask that question. Why does this person that Cancer is thinking of and dealing with want Cancer's attention? Why do they want Cancer's attention? Why? Spirit, tell us more. Oh, okay. The sun. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Big, uh, big Leo energy here. But if this isn't uh, like a card to indicate attention, I don't know what is, right? They want your attention because you make them feel good. Okay. They get the most feel good feelings from their interaction with you, Cancer. Isn't that fascinating? Why does this person want Cancer's attention? Why does this person want Cancer's attention? The lovers. Major Arcana for Gemini. For some of you, I would say that this person feels like a twin flame connection to you. Now, they might not specify it as a twin flame connection, 
but they are drawn to you. There's, you know, the lovers is, it's a magnetic pull. Okay, they're just, they just want your attention. And I feel like with the sun card here that this person has a very big ego. Okay, right now they're all up in their head about you and, you know, why you're not talking to them. Like you're affecting them on some level and I feel like it's affecting their ego. That's why they are getting attention from other people or they are sourcing out validation from other people because it's an ego thing guys it's an ego thing and they can't take it that you're not talking to them or you're not giving them what they want okay whatever it is for you that they, they just can't handle that And you know what? They can't even explain why they're drawn to you. They can't explain it. It's... Mm. And you know what? Because the lovers are sitting underneath the Five of Swords, I would even say that they hate the fact that they need or want your attention. They can't stand it. Mm. I feel like they're mad at themselves or they're angry at themselves why they are bothered by your lack of interaction with them or why you're not bending to them or why you're not responding to them. Like they can't stand that it, it bothers them. They can't stand that it gets under their skin. Why does this person want Cancer's attention? I feel with the lovers here too, I feel like this person wants to talk to you. I feel like really, really they would like to talk to you because the sun and the lovers indicate communication to me. Um, they want, Oh, look at that, two of pentacles. There it is, coming through. Um, all right, so let me have a look here, Cancer. I had a message come in and would you believe I've lost it? Hopefully it comes back. As I was saying, they would like to talk to you. Oh, that's what it was. That's what. With the sun, the reason why they want your attention is because they want to have, they want to talk to you because they want clarity they want to understand they want to understand why maybe you've cut the cord or you've detached that they, they want to receive clarity i will clarify that card mm. Again, I feel with the Two of Pentacles here is this person could be juggling other people right now, entertaining other people right now, but I don't feel like they are the ones they really want to be hanging out with or spending time with. Let's clarify. I want to clarify the Sun card first, but we will come back to the Two of Pentacles. Just give these cards a bit of a shuffle. You know, because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm connecting to a Cancerian that has blocked this person, or cut the cords, or cut the ties. I'm feeling like I'm connecting with a Cancerian who's got the upper hand in this situation. Okay, for the rest of you who feel like you want to talk to this person, but they are the ones that blocked you, just take whatever resonates for you in this, in this situation. Um, but I really do feel like this person wants to be able to have the, because the lovers represents choices. 
Okay, they want to be able to have this choice of whether or not they have access to you or not. That's what it feels like to me with these two cards. It's like this is the choice. They want to know that they want to have the choice to be able to have the access to you. That's that two of pentacles. Like, mm. And you know what? This person is viewing you as being wishy-washy with them. Let's clarify the sun card. Yeah, King of Cups. Yeah, they want to know how you feel. That's they want they want to receive the clarity around your feelings and how you feel. It's as clear as day to me. And to see if you still care about them, to see if you still feel something for them, you know? Um because the King of Cups, he kind of keeps his emotions together. You know, he doesn't wear them outside of himself. He, he wears his emotions inside, okay? Um, so this person is, yeah, they're, they're really struggling to read you right now, Cancer. They're, they're having a difficult time reading you, reading your energy, reading your feelings. What's this lovers? Tell us more about the lovers, the seven of wands. Yep. Because see, they can feel that you've got your defenses up. They can feel that you've got some kind of a wall up. And the lovers represents choices. So again, I feel like this person wants to have, wants to know that they've got the choice to kind of pop in and out or have access to you, but you, they don't have access to you because look, you are coming across very guarded and cautious when it comes to this person. Hmm. Can we please clarify this Two of Pentacles? Let's clarify this Two of Pentacles. Yep, Queen of Swords in reverse. Isn't that funny? Because the King and the Queen of Swords are both, were both in the reverse. Mm. And I feel like they're both bringing the same message, okay? Because you're not talking to them right now, because you're not talking to them right now, they're, they're trying not to dwell on it or they're trying not to let that, let that stop them from, I don't know, living life. Um, so what they're doing here with the Two of Pentacles is they're seeking it from somewhere else. Okay, because you're not talking to them, they're... You know, they're, they're going elsewhere. But I, I do have to say, Cancer, though, you've got this person all up in their head with the hanged man. And it, I'm saying all up in the head because the five of swords is right next to the hanged man. It's touching. So this person may be acting like they don't care oh, well, I don't care if cancer doesn't talk to me. I've got Susie or Bob over here that's, you know, giving me the attention that I want. That's what they're trying to convince themselves of, that they don't care, but they really do care because the Five of Swords tells me so. <laughs> and, and the surrounding cards tell me so, cancer. All right, so with that in mind, let's take a look at what's going on with you. Let's take a look at your feelings. We will go back to the world unknown. Sorry guys, I've got a runny nose. It's absolutely freezing here today. I know the sun is out. We are so lucky. We have the most amazing winters here on the Gold Coast, Australia. Um, but the, the temperature is like freezing cold to me. And when it's cold, my nose tends to run. 
and it creates this little annoying sniffle which I hope it's not annoying for you as the listener. Okay, so let's see what's going on with my beautiful Cancerians. As I'm shuffling the cards, Cancer, I am on the socials. I'm on Instagram and TikTok where I do post exclusive only content. If you would like to support me on those platforms, you will find the social links in the show more section below. And can you believe it is almost cancer season and I am so excited. It's, it's almost my birthday and I can't wait to celebrate with you guys. All right, and I can't wait to celebrate your birthday too, of course. Okay, let's take a look at Cancer's current energy. Please, Spirit, show us the energy of Cancer at this current time. Please show us the energy of Cancer at this current time. Oh, first cut, judgment. Ah, I'm not surprised, right? I'm not surprised that you've got the judgment card. This is you making a judgment call. You have made a firm decision here. You've decided... Um, to kind of like lay down the law okay you're heeding the call as well is what I'm hearing spirit say cancer is heeding the call and this may have been a lesson that you've needed to learn um, a few times cancer but you're finally getting it that's what the judgment card is saying cancer is finally getting it Cancer is finally waking up. Like this is the wake up call. Cancer is finally waking up to his or herself. Okay, current energy, the world. Nice, Cancer. Nice. You want to close out a cycle here. Okay, this is a big achievement. You calling it out and calling it for exactly what it is, is a massive, massive achievement for you. Because the world card is achievement, it's accomplishment. You've come a long way, Cancer's come a long way. Um, you know, it's taken you some time, but you're finally getting there, Cancer. And I'm saying it's taken some time because in the world card, I'm seeing all these circles and all these circles represent the different cycles or seasons that you've been through with this person. Okay. I'm hearing Spirit say some of you have been through the ringer and back. You know, some of you have felt like you've been put on the spin cycle on the in the washing machine. And it's like, what the hell? But the world card tells me that cancer you're finally coming out the other end and i love that for you for others of you this might be you wanting to come out the other end okay you 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 want to get there but the first step is making that call okay the first step is admitting the truth to yourself So you can close out a cycle here. Close the cycle, close the chapter, close the book. Mm. The world also speaks to distance. So I feel like Cancer has decided very clearly here with the judgment card that you are going to put distance and space between you and this person. For some of you with the world card, you may be dealing with someone from like overseas or at a long distance location. This could be like a long distance relationship for some of you. And for some of you, you're deciding that doesn't work. Excuse me. It doesn't work for you anymore. There's a high priestess. Why do I love this for you? Because you are intuitive and the high priestess is intuitive and you are heeding the call of the angels, of the spirits, of the guides that you follow or that you look up to or listen to or are guided by and you're listening to your intuition at this time. You know, the High Priestess is also divine feminine energy. 
Okay, and divine feminine energy for me is where you look after yourself. You're doing here what is best for you. I feel like for some of you in the current um, energy, you are just keeping to yourself, you're keeping quiet, you're keeping your cards close to your chest, you're not letting this person know how you feel, you're not letting them in with any information in regards to you. Okay, you're keeping quiet here. Okay, let's clarify these cards for Cancer. Spirit, let's clarify these cards for Cancer. Why the judgment call, Spirit? Tell us why the judgment call, judgment call, <laughs> why the judgment call, why the judgment card? Why is the judgment card here? <laughs> The world in reverse. Don't you just love it when you receive signs and synchronicities from tarot <laughs> to confirm intuition? And it is. It's just literally confirming what I was saying about the world card here, how it feels like you've been through the spin cycle. Okay, you've been put through the the you know, through the wash with this person. You've been through many ups and downs. The world card in reverse tells me here that you've been through this before, okay? You've been through whatever you're going on, whatever's going on here between you and this person, it's, it's happened before. It's like a cycle keeps repeating and playing out here. And some of you, like you're going nuts with the world in reverse. It's like, are we together? Are we not together? Do they still like me? Um, is there still a possibility of this relationship working out? Because this, the world in reverse is unfinished business. And I feel like that is really doing your head in for some of you Cancerians. Like you can't deal with the fact that there's not a proper closure here. So instead of waiting for this person to give you closure, I feel with the with the judgment card, you're coming in and you're you're being that decider. Okay, you're like, you know what, Rosa? I don't need this person to give me closure. I'm closing the chapter. I'm closing the book. I'm not waiting for them to close, give me closure. Mm. Uh, you could be dealing with a fixed sign here also. So we've got Taurus, Scorpio, Leo and Aquarius energy also. Okay, so for some of you, you're going to close the book on a on one of those signs okay you've had enough why the world card here oh my god wouldn't it be funny if we got the judgment card to clarify the world card <laughs> all right tell us more about this world card the eight of swords yeah this is what i was saying because you're sick of feeling stuck or trapped in this loop or in this cycle of are we aren't we you know, um, you know what I'm saying, Cancer. You're, like you, you, you're stuck of, you're, you're, you're feeling stuck, or this story of are we, aren't we, is holding you back from possibly meeting the love of your life. Or from, it's holding you back from having that, loving, fulfilling relationship that you deserve. Mm. Because a lot of you have put yourselves on hold for this person. You've put yourself on hold for this person and that's not fair. It's not fair to you. Yeah. 
All right, let's take a look at this High Priestess. What's this High Priestess energy? Can, um, spirit, I'm just going to say Cancer. Yep, Nine of Swords in reverse. Love that. Nine of Swords in reverse, clarifying the High Priestess. So what I feel like these two cards are saying here, Cancer, is you're not going to let your fears or your worries or your um, concerns hold you back anymore. It's like your intuition, your intuition, your soul is overriding your fears. Or it's like your intuition is overriding your emotional thinking with the nine of swords in reverse because this is in reverse so you're not letting emotional thinking hold you back okay with the high priestess here you're paying attention to the red flags you're listening to the red flags you're not ignoring the red flags anymore cancer and for some of you like you're so done with feeling like you're constantly thinking about this person and whether or not they love you or they like you do they want a relationship with you like this is all the things all the stories that you could possibly be telling yourself because the nine of swords is in reverse it's telling me here you're dropping all those stories you don't care about that anymore because a lot of you cancerians you you were essentially you, you were essentially like holding out for this person. You, you had your life on pause for this person. And for what? You know, how long were you going to do that for? One year, two years, 10 years, five months, six months? I don't know. Like you're finally, you know, heeding the call of your own soul and your own spirit here. Yeah. You know, red flags, you've got to pay attention to those red flags. You've got to pay attention, Cancer, to those red flags. Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to use this deck here. It's called Luna, the Luna Oracle. All right, by Liberty Pi. Liberty Pi. Luna Oracle. Actually, it's a really good um, deck of cards because you can work with it uh, for personal use, you know. There's like a guide, an awesome guidebook in there and everything. All right, let's have a look. Last parting message for Cancer. What have we got here? Oh, look at that, Cancer. Love this message for you. It says, focus on the present as it's here that change occurs. Okay, focus on the present as it is here that change occurs. So remember Cancer, we're not living in the past, we're not living in the future, we're only concerned with what's in front of us right now, what's happening right now, okay? So what do I mean by that? I mean that your present situation is going to help you make the necessary changes that you need to make. There's a saying that there's a saying that I live by, right? And it goes like this, whether it is with a lover, a family member, a friend, I don't care who it is, whoever you're dealing with, there's a saying here, if they really wanted to, they would, right? And if in the present moment, Cancer, this person's deciding not to reach out or not talk to you, if they're deciding in the present moment to go and get attention elsewhere, what more do you need to know, Cancer? You know, because it is in that that will help you to make the changes that you need to make or that you know you should make because these changes will get you closer to your happiness. So there's your reading, my dear Cancer. If you want to follow on the reading uh, in the show more section, uh, if you want to follow on, 
to the extended. I will place the link in the show more section below. As usual, we're going to take a deeper look at this person's feelings, their true intentions and their action towards you. For the rest of you, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate you clicking on this video and watching it to the very end. May you all have an amazing weekend and I'll see you next week.